Hello and welcome back. Uh, in the second part of metadata extraction from scientific publications, we are going to look at web of science. We want to see how to extract the metadata and later in the next videos, I will show you how to use the metadata and how to uh, perform a scientometric and bibliometric analysis. So we are in the web of science um, database, the database for uh, scientific articles, peer-reviewed articles, conference papers and such. Here is a search box where you can write uh, the specific term that you're searching for. And here I show you the filters that you can impose on those keywords. So first is the topic. What, what, the, what happens when you just, uh, when you just sh uh, choose topic? Uh, whatever you write here, uh, the search engine goes and search, searches for that specific term in the title, abstract, author keywords, and keywords plus. Uh, so in another video, I will, sh I will explain uh, completely what, what, what are the differences between author keywords and keywords plus. Uh, just a short explanation, um, when, you read a, when you are reading a paper or when you are writing a paper, the keywords that are there and the keywords that you choose are the keywords that authors have chosen. So those are authors' keywords. Keywords plus are keywords that are algorithmically generated based on the citations that exist in a certain publication that are linked to a certain publication so that, that that's the difference uh, we have other filters you can just search for a specific term in the title you can search for a specific author if you made a name you can search for example for grand number you can filter based on the language uh, we, we keep it at topic so the example that we're going to search is uh, a building information modeling and blockchain. So I open a parenthesis because I don't want to search only for building information modeling. I want to search for some related terms as well. I will open a double quotation, building information modeling. As I explained before, if you write any keyword here, if you write anything here without double quotation, the search engine goes and search not only for the whole term, but for every single word that exists here. So you might find some papers that don't have building information inside the uh, title abstract or keywords, but only the word modeling. So here, if you put this term inside double quotation, the search engine understand that these three words are related to each other and it has to search for exactly the same phrase. Uh, based on my experience, I know that modeling in British English is with double L and with one L in uh, American English and this has created some confusion. So I'm going to just limit my search to model. It's a kind of stemming the, the, uh, the phrase. And in this, in, I'm eliminating any chances that I don't get publications that are slightly bit different because both of them, building information modeling with double L or with one L, are referring to the same semantics, they are referring to the same meaning or concept, but because we chose, we have chosen, or authors have chosen different types of pronunciation, the search engine g goes and search for a specific pronunciation or specific spelling, let's say. So here I, I keep it to building information model, then I write OR, and the next term that I'm interested in is in BIM. BIM is uh, acronym for building information modeling or building information model. Um, usually I don't write, I don't just search for acronyms, and this is based on experience because, for example, one acronym can be shared in multiple disciplines. For example, uh, IPD is a uh, in management, it's in construction, and it could be also a term in it that belongs to mathematics or physics or whatever. And I know based on my experience that BIM is an acronym that also belongs to a term in biology. And if I just search for BIM, I won't receive the results that are related to construction BIM, but I receive results that are related to biology and chemistry as well. So here, I write BIM, but it's in uh, 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 affiliation with building information modeling and the next keyword that I choose. So we are safe here. 
or the next word that I'm interested in is construction industry or construction project it doesn't matter if you're writing with capital uh, word or if you're writing with um, small letters or uh, uh, yeah capital letters so why I wrote here construction industrial and construction project and not only construction I explained all of these in the previous video about the scopus but if you haven't watched that I explain it here again so when you write construction and the word construction refers to construction industry or construction project or construction phase or con a, a building construction however it can be referred to, it can be used in other sentences uh, in a different context for example um, we have used civil rights in the construction of or uh, civil referendum so here construction means creating something constructing constructing something writing something it doesn't really mean construct constructing a building or a structure that's why you should be very careful how you select your keyword uh, remember that these all came to me after a lot of search after a lot of experiences especially when i uh, ventured let's say into the scientometric and bibliometric analysis i saw the importance of choosing proper keywords for my search and for my future publications and yeah in in your field you will uh, receive these insights by time so don't worry uh, or here as you can see it's written in capital letters it's capitalized and uh, it's a boolean gate so it means that go and search for this parenthesis or go and search for this parenthesis and search for any of these phrases into the topic of a publication and bring me the results now i want to add another row and i in in this this time instead of and or or not i will keep and it's the similar boolean um, gate and it means that for example the term <laughs> this is a previous search so a term that i'm interested in is blockchain so now what happens is that the search engine goes and search for for example building information modeling and blockchain beam and blockchain or construction industry and blockchain here blockchain there is no space between block and chain so i don't need double quotation because it's already one word uh yeah and if i hit search i will see this uh, the results i can set different years i I will write for for consistency i will write 2010 uh, to 2020 but blockchain is a very new technology so the first publication was published in 2008 so technically there is no publication in any field with the word blockchain before 2008 or 2010 here uh, we will see what comes up great we had 19 results it means that with our search terms we have 19 documents that have our keywords the first row and blockchain and you can see for example blockchain and construction industry blockchain here only but when you go inside you will see that here we have beam in the keyword so blockchain and beam this is just to show you how it works uh, then we can limit or uh, we can limit and filter or documents to certain type to we can see uh, if they belong to different journals we can choose the language that we're interested in uh, the problem now is that we only have 19 rules 19 papers that are published ever in and are recorded in web of science about beam and blockchain it's not a lot if you search for maybe building information modeling only you will see there are like 10,000 publications and then you see there are like a couple of languages and you can uh, limit your search based on your preferred language so how to start how to download the information the citations only not all the papers and all the content so we search 
mm, export and here you can export to other file formats then uh, you if you search all records on the page um, then it's only for example whatever that is on this page you can see that we have two pages here so be careful to search records from 1 to 19 which is the total of our search and we are interested in uh, yes we're interested in author title source abstract actually we're interested in everything and here i want to extract it to dot bit or bit text a bit export and we will see it here is our information and yes so we are done for this part in the next video i will show you how to use this information in the bibliometrics package in our studio and start your centimetric and bibliometric analysis if you have any questions uh, please write it in the comment uh, section i will read them and i would be happy to help you and i would happy to share my experiences see you in the next video and goodbye for now